Hello, Annette here with a new layout process video for you. I'm using uh, the Pinkfresh Studio Days of Splendor collection. This is a fall themed collection with lovely fall colors and so many beautiful leaves and flowers ephemera. There are two packages of them. I planned a layout with many leaves flying all around the paper, but I did not want to use up all my leaves on one layout, so I went ahead and cut some autumn leaves cut files. This you can find and purchase in the Pinkfish Studio webshop. It is called Autumn Leaves Cut File. I cut them from white cardstock and I cut the same images from the Simply Magical paper too. This paper has a lovely blue-green ombre color on one side. Here I just traced the outer cut lines, so I got these lovely traced leaf shapes. They are filled. I adhered them together and I also picked some red and brown colored leaves from the ephemera pack. The red pops so nice among the greens. I wanted to have my photo also in a leaf form. And this is really easy to make in the Ciliad Studio software. I made the leaf shape I traced, the cut file, but only I used only the outer cut lines. And uh, you just drag your photo over this leaf shape, cut, cut file, cut, cut lines, and your photo just pops in and fills out this beautiful leaf shape. And then I added the white edge to it and I print and cut it. And this way I can have a beautiful shaped photo. The fun part is arranging all the leaves, finding a form that looks good. I wanted to have movement on my layout because the photo is also so dynamic and so fun. So I thought I make the illusion of falling leaves that fly with the wind in the air. And I wanted to have also some other leaves already fallen on the ground. I use a lot of foam tape and I always curl up the edges of these leaves. I bend them as they are never really flat in the nature. I adhere only a part of them so the other parts can be bent up. Dimension is so important for me. My base paper is called Oh So Delightful. It is a great background paper and it has a lovely border. It looks like they are some kind of little leaves. I always leave a white space on my layout. We need some kind of quiet place on the layout to rest our eyes or I think more, more our mind. This place in this layout is the upper right part, upper right corner. But I let some small leaves fly there, blown by the wind, but only a couple of them.
I use a pencil to draw my guide for stitching. I draw the wind or more the path of the leaves fly. I use a piercer to make holes and I use white embroidery floss. I love using white on white because uh, the layout and my white space still remains calm. White on white doesn't make my layout heavy or too much. This stitching is really easy and I did not take too long at all, but it adds so much dimension and so much texture to the layout. So this is my final result. I love the movement and the lovely colors. Using cut files is always so fun and uh, there are so many great ones in Pinkfish shop to choose from. I hope you enjoyed my video tutorial and you did not get bored. Ask me anything uh, if you want to know something about my process and I hope to see you in my next video too. I listed all supplies under the video and love to read your lovely comments. Thank you so much. Bye bye.